Okay. Here's, oh, music. Here's sticking out. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So this is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And if you know of anybody that is sort of freaking out and thinking Jesus is coming back today or tomorrow or during any solar eclipse or any unusual weather anomaly or event or whatever, um, send them this video because sometimes people don't want to read and instead of reading they can just, uh, they can just watch the video. Uh, I posted once before on the reasons why Jesus isn't coming back soon. You can translate it why he isn't coming back today. Um, but uh, I wanted to do this because every time there's a solar eclipse or a blood moon or something, a lot of the end time um, pastors or evangelists or whatever want to say that he's coming back. Um, I'm not saying that the blood moons and the eclipse doesn't affect the spirit realm and things aren't changing, transforming, and uh, new things happening because of these events. What I'm saying is, these are not signs, these could be signs that Jesus is coming back, but not signs that he's coming back today or soon. And there's a reason that I say this. There's about five things that have not been fulfilled, which are very obvious of why Jesus isn't coming back now or very soon. And I know you can take a look at the times and some of the things that the word says is going to happen in these end times earthquakes in various places, wars and rumors of wars. Those are the beginnings of sorrows. Those things are happening. But Jesus and God are long suffering. So when they say the beginning, I don't think it means like in a year or two. I think it means like within the next 50 years. I don't even think it's going to happen in our lifetime. But those are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. But the things that have not been fulfilled, the things that you can have confidence and reassurance that Jesus is not, or maybe not confidence and reassurance, maybe uh, get upset. Jesus is not coming back soon because of certain things that have not been fulfilled. Now, I used to go to a church that all he did was preach. I mean, I don't know why he's, this pastor is still alive because he gets so stressed because all he did was preach about the end times and that'll make anybody get stressed if all they're focusing in is all the bad stuff happening, expecting Jesus to take us up and escape from this but we are here as a light we are here to change situations and circumstances um, we are here to make a difference and so in order to make a difference our eyes have to be focused on the power the peace and the presence of God <coughs> excuse me not on all the bad stuff happening not gay marriages not transgender confusion not identity crisis not um, white supremacists and and whatever you know all this turmoil our eyes have to be focused on who we are in Christ and why we're here what is our mission what is our purpose and, and and when we focus on that we'll get excited about being alive in these times there is no better time in the world to live than right now I mean it is awesome <clears throat> excuse me I know bad stuff is happening but you know what the good is going to overpower it. and the ultimate end is you're going to be with Jesus so that's really cool. Okay, so some of the signs and the symbols, symbols, whatever, some of the things that have not happened yet, okay, that shows me that this is not the time or the year or the season that Jesus is coming back. Number one, he said that the world would know us by our love. Does the world, really reality check here, does the word world know Christians by their love? No. We have that Baptist church bashing people, bashing soldiers that fight, bashing gays, uh, going to their funerals, doing hateful, horrible stuff. <clears throat> I don't remember the name of that Baptist church. I'm sure some of you do. They've always been in the news. They're so hateful. They do not represent Christianity. Okay. The world does not know us by our love, number one. Okay. Number two, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. The wealth transfer has not happened yet. Do you see Christians? I mean, we see Christians bashing Christians that are rich. Christians have a mindset and a mentality that God does not want us rich. Well, duh. <laughs> like on earth, on heaven on earth, you know, God wants us rich. God did not create the wealth in this world for Satan's people. Okay, he created it for his kids. And he wants us to use it for his kids. He wants us to have nice things. He wants us to go nice places. He wants us to bless other people. 
Hey, I've given away several cars. Someday, maybe I'll be able to give away my house. I've given away all kinds of stuff. And it's fun. Okay? So, the wealth of the wicked has not been transferred to us. Christians do not do not understand that God wants us rich and prosperous. And so what if a pastor has five airplanes? He probably gave away 20 airplanes. You reap what you sow. So stop getting annoyed with people that pastors that are rich and prosperous. They're rich and prosperous because they're following the kingdom principle, not because they're stealing your tithe. Okay. <clears throat> so number one, the world does not know us because of our love. Number two, the wealth of the wicked has not been transferred over to us. Number three. Three. <laughs> he said that the end time church will be more glorious than the beginning church. We are not more glorious. We are fighting. We have we have these people that are setting up these uh, fake rallies and fake whatever to try to cause a civil war. Try to cause blacks against whites and and all this trash I mean where where is it all heading what's the whole purpose of it okay we're not more glorious it's it's a division it's a, a, a diversion and a division okay so we are not known by our love we are not more glorious the church is focusing on programs <clears throat> they have all kinds of programs to reach out and and to get people off the street but you know what you don't get people by programs the church has to change. The church is a place where we go and we should learn and fellowship and learn how to walk in power. Instead, the church is saying, oh, I don't want to offend these people, so we're going to preach a salvation message. We're not going to preach about talking in tongues. We're not going to allow the Holy Spirit to move freely and people laughing and stuck on the floor and doing all kinds of crazy stuff because that might scare people away. Well, what were they thinking when... They were baptized with the Holy Spirit and they thought they were drunk. They were acting like drunk people. Okay, so the structure of the church has to change. We have to be the church outside the walls. It, the, the church is supposed to be more glorious than it was then. Back then they were raising the dead, healing the sick, casting out demons, cleansing lepers. Where is that happening? Um, it's not hardly, hardly, only those people who really know who they are in Christ are walking in those things. Otherwise, people, Christians are going to church. They're being good pew sitters. They're sitting on a pew. They're praying so many hours a day. They're going to, studying their Bible so many hours a day. It's a religion. It's not a relationship. Uh, I think God's going to take all of the church structure out and make it, and you're going to see a relationship. You're going to see the whole church thing change. So the church is not more glorious. We're not doing more. We're not even doing what Jesus was doing. So that's number three. <clears throat> that the, the latter church will be greater than the former church. That will be number four. We'll be doing greater works than Jesus did. Where do you see greater works than Jesus did? And he's not talking about, okay, on the internet we're going to see um, people do stuff. It, it's bigger than that. It's it's more gigantic than that. It, it's you got to think global. You, you got to think every person doing something greater than the church, not just one men, ministry out there doing stuff. So that that's another sign. Um, let's see what are some of you uh, might want to remind me. Let's see, love um, the kingdom of God, and uh, it, the kingdom is supposed to spread, and there should be no peace. I mean, there should be greater peace in the kingdom, not in the world. Um, we're not we're not seeing that. There's just beginning to learn about the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven on earth and the peace of the kingdom of heaven. We're just we're just stepping into those things. We were created to rule on the earth, under the earth, and above the earth. We're not ruling above the earth. There are very few people that know how to uh, ascend and take authority and dominion and make God's kingdom rule on earth. There's very few people that are, are doing that right now and that's getting bigger and bigger. So there's so many signs and so many things that have not been fulfilled that we're not walking in. He's coming back for a bride with that spot or blemish. Well, we don't have spot or blemish because we're in Christ. We are the righteousness of God, okay? But you don't want to walk in sin because sin, sin is the devil's way of keeping you from hearing from God because you're feeling guilty, you're feeling condemned, uh, and you're feeling shamed. And you don't want to sin because sin opens the door to the enemy. 
and we have a new nature so we are without spot or without blemish because we're in Christ Jesus and so there's so many things God does, is not coming back for a bride that is weak, weak and wimpy he's coming back for a bride that is taking over the world Islam is trying to take over the world Islam is never going to take over the world. They probably will after the Christians leave. But right now the Christians and the Holy Spirit in the Christians is what's holding back the Antichrist. What is holding back the world from becoming totally godless. The fake news is reporting all this trash they want you to believe. Don't believe them. It's fake news. Instead, ascend. Go to heaven. Learn what God wants you to do. Change the news. Change the media. Like, um, you were created to live in this time because you have the power in you to change the world. <clears throat> and that's what we need to be doing. We need to be a walking Bible. We don't need to be good people and good pew sitters. We need to be powerful people. We need to be walking in God's presence, peace, and power. We need to be changing the systems. We need to be changing things. We need to be walking in love. This is what empowers us. And this is what changes the world. When the world sees our love, then they're going to be drawn to it. Because we were created as love creatures. So, I don't believe that Jesus is coming back soon. I don't believe he's coming back in my lifetime. I used to believe that. When I was focusing on end time prophets, uh, people who prophesize doom and gloom. Until I learned that it's not about doom and gloom. It's about a happy God and a happy gospel. And... That's what we need to be preaching, not you sinner, you're going to hell. It's like, no, man, God loves you. He has a plan. He has a purpose for you. You know, he wants you to walk in power. He wants you to walk in authority and dominion. You can change the world. You can change yourself. You can get off of those drugs. You can get off of the street. You don't have to be a prostitute. God created your body, beautiful body to be, to be, to praise and worship him and dance or whatever. We need to be interpreting people's dreams and not letting the new age do this stuff. Do you know that everything was created for us? Everything that the New Age has, the devil that belongs to the Christians, and the devil took it, twisted it, and distorted it. And now Christians are afraid of it, and they think it belongs to the New Age. <clears throat> Nothing belongs to the New Age. It all belongs to us. They just twisted it and distorted it, and, they, and, and their guides are demons. We have to trust that the Holy Spirit is our teacher and our guide and wants us to succeed in everything we do. Because by the time Jesus comes back, we are going to be walking in so much power, so much peace. We are going to be able to go in the Spirit and snatch people physically out of getting their head cut off and bring them into the physical world. We are going to be able to take uh, people who were cremated and, and raise them from the dead, put their body back together. We're going to be able to stop time. We're going to be able to change time, to lengthen time. We should be doing that now. We should be walk. That's what the church is about. The church is not about um, having programs and going out and, and, you know, you can feed the hungry and the poor, but you know what? you got to teach them how to get their own food. You've got to teach them how to, to manifest uh, multiply the wine got to pay my toll here multiply the wine and, 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 and the, the bread and we are not doing that we are not walking in power we're not walking in peace we're hiding, we're afraid, we want Jesus to come back man this is an awesome time to walk in power it's awesome, it's so much fun and I tell you one thing I learned hair sticking up here one thing I learned is whatever you focus on you will have you focus on I stopped watching TV about 10 years ago I hate TV I hate radio I hate even listening to the voices I don't even like announcers voices um, <clears throat> because there's frequencies in their voices uh, that irritate there's frequencies um, that touch your spirit and your soul there's they're, all they're doing is telling us what to expect, when to have certain symptoms, what symptoms to look for, how to get sick, what pills to take, and how it's going to kill you taking the medicine. Okay, turn off that trash. Turn off the news. Get your news from Jesus. He's so much more fun. i got to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. So anyway, that's why I believe Jesus isn't coming back soon. Because I believe we need to walk in power, we need to walk in love, we need to manifest the same way Jesus did. 
we need to ascend into the heavens, we need to learn how to go to court, we need, how, need to change our city's rules and laws and this country rules and laws. If we would be walking in that, there would be no such thing as gay marriage or transgender. People would know they're male or female, that's what their DNA says, that's what they are. They, God didn't make no mistakes, they just have uh, uh, generational curses passed down to them that if they feel same sex from a babyhood on or born that way it's because it's a generational curse it's a lie that they can be delivered from and set free we should have changed these things we should have learned how to change these things we need to be the church outside of the church walls okay it's just that simple Jesus isn't coming back until we're walking in that place that his blood paid for us to walk in so focus your attention um, it, on people that are going where you want to go doing what you want to do people who have written books uh, lots of people out there that have written some awesome books and awesome experiences that line up with the Word of God read their books you focus on their books use your imagination your imagination is the key is the bridge between the supernatural and the natural and you were created to be supernatural you are a spirit being you should be able to hear, taste, feel, smell in the spirit realm because you are a spirit being living in a physical body. Okay, let your spirit being be the boss, <clears throat> not your physical body. <clears throat> Don't let your mind be the boss. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you. Um, share this with your social media site and your friends. And um, if you like it, also here's my commercial. If you're an author, uh, I do. I, until September 1st for only $300 I, I will publish your book into a print book a Kindle book open up all accounts do everything you need so that you have a print book in your hand <clears throat> September 1st it changes to $399 still an awesome price normally you pay $1,000 to $20,000 to do what I do so um, share it with your friends if you have a book if you have a testimony oh share your testimony especially in the supernatural because this is what I'm called to do is to publish books about people walking in the supernatural that will encourage other people. Do you know that the Word of God says that the Word is a spirit of prophecy? That if you hear something that someone else experienced, that it opens up the door for you to experience the same thing. That's why what you put in front of your eyes and your ears is so important. Don't go to a dead church. Go to a church that is alive with the things of God. So RobinBremer.net is my website. Check it out. Check out my books. I have, um, I'm have. i sowing seeds, so every day for this month and next month I have a free book. If you go to just type in Robin Bremer or Amazon and I'm giving away a free book every day for the next 60 days all the way I think to October or something check it out uh, and on September 18th my birthday please do not send me a happy birthday wish okay I got 5,000 friends almost that's too many instead I want you to sow a seed into someone else's life any kind of seed sow a seed in someone else's life on my birthday um, and all those who sow a seed and come back and tell me instead of happy birthday, they say, I sowed a seed for your birthday. This is what I did. Out of those people, I'm going to pick somebody to promote their book. Their either future book or a book they already have. I'm going to promote it as a $300 package. So, that's it. And I will talk to you all later. Remember, don't look at the sun with your naked eye. Um, use the glasses and make sure those, those glasses are for real. And you can trust them. I'm not. I'm just going to do my everyday life. I, my eyes are too precious. I don't need to look at the sun. Um, anyway, I'm expecting some awesome stuff to happen uh, because anytime there's a great change and you can hear, you can sort of feel in the atmosphere the excitement of everybody. And I think it's because uh, it, there's probably another transition in the spirit realm of releasing angels and hosts to go out and to um, minister to us. So. I'm sure that some exciting stuff is, is going to be happening in, in, in the spirit realm. So, love you all. Talk to you later. Bye. Now, finish. There we go.